with this. The Pentagon released their UFO footage yesterday. And while it's not, you know, it, it, it's kind of crazy. All of this stuff that's happening right now with this pandemic, and there's so many news stories and everything else, the idea of aliens being real is not even on the ticker. It's like nobody even cares. You know, there's there's a small segment of the population that's like, oh, okay, cool. And then there's this whole other segment that's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. I never even saw it. The Pentagon released actual footage, actually confirmed that it was real, because this stuff was leaked from forever ago. That's right. 2004, 2015, the Navy actually had footage of UFOs. They could not tell what this was. They did research into it, etc. Uh, I've got an article from Business Insider. These are the highlights, okay? The Pentagon on Monday released three videos of unidentified aerial phenomena after years of speculation about them. The videos, which can be seen in full on the website, Business Insider, which you can find these videos everywhere, uh, were taken by Navy aircraft cameras in 04 and 2015 and show small floating objects that baffled some of the pilots filming them. Uh, the clips had previously been leaked to media outlets and UFO research groups. The Navy acknowledged the video's authenticity in September, but said in January that material it had about UFOs would cause grave damage to national security if released, which is kind of strange, right? Uh, in a statement on Monday, the Pentagon said that the videos did not reveal any sensitive capabilities and that their release would not hurt future UFO investigations. Senator Harry Reid who, as the Senate Majority Leader in 2007, funded a research program into UFOs, tweeted that this release, quote, only scratches the surface of what the Pentagon has on file. This is nuts. So it leads me to this question. Do you believe that aliens exist? <laughs> I, in, in full disclosure, in all honesty, um, yeah, I think I do. I'll give you my logic behind it. I don't want to just say something insane. I, I say a lot of insane things, but I always try to back them up with why I think that way. I think that's important if you're going to say something insane. Yes. Um, th there are there are two arguments that I've heard in my lifetime that lead me to this level of thought. Okay. Now there's there's many things that have come through my head as to why I think what I think and all this stuff, but it it can all be broken down in two things. In the early 90s, I was a child. I mean, I mean, I might have been in seventh or eighth grade. Um, I remember listening to a stand-up routine that I should not have been listening to, okay? I, I was <laughs> raised by older cousins who looked after me and took care of me um, that used to let me watch stand-up comedy on HBO all the time and Showtime. And, uh, and I don't remember if it was Eddie Griffin or Chris Rock or somebody. It was one of those guys, somebody like that, that had a bit about aliens. And their whole concept, I'm not going to try to do their bit or whatever, but I remember to this day, like it was yesterday, their whole concept was, how dare we be so arrogant to think that we're the only things here and everything else in universe is just lights. It's just decoration for us to look at. And, and I took, I thought about that my entire life growing up, I thought, if there aren't any life forms outside of here, why are all the other planets out there? Why are the other solar systems out there? Why is this? And it's one of the things that I'm super interested. I mean, you and I went to Chicago. Every time I've gone to Chicago, I go to the planetarium. Yeah. I go, I spend hours walking around, reading, looking, watching videos. I'm just really interested in this stuff. Not that I know anything about any of this, but, but it I is interesting to yeah. be able to learn. The second thing, was just an argument that I heard, and this is the dumbest thing on earth, but an episode of Gas Monkey Garage, they did um, like a galaxy car, a Ford Galaxy, okay? And they went to Area 51 or whatever. And and one of the guys on the show was asked, does he believe in aliens? And his his argument for why he believes in aliens is simply this. I don't know if it's real or not, but it's more fun to think that it's real than to yes. think that it's not. Now you're a hundred percent right on that. And if we don't know, there's no there's no science to prove it or disprove it, then I'm gonna believe the thing that that I think is is more fun. Oh yes. It it All makes, it makes life, life more interesting. 
two arguments have led me to believe I like thinking aliens are real. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, let's jump in these comments real quick. McKinnon said, boys, y'all know I'm in. Uh, Mordecai on Periscope said, hi, guys. Hi, Mordecai. This is a, a new commenter, so, uh, hey, what's so up? definitely want to say hello there. Michael jumped in and said, what's up, fellas? Can 2020 get any crazier? This has been a just a fascinating two months. I mean, it, it really, it's been four I mean, months this year. year realistically, but, it's yeah. been kind of insane. And then McKinnon said, people already think I'm a loon. I'm not touching UFOs or aliens. Uh, look, people can think I'm crazy if, if they want to, but 100%, I believe in ghosts. I believe in aliens. I believe, you know, all this stuff. I think all of it's 100% possible that it could be like that because uh, just because my brain can't really comprehend it doesn't mean it ain't out there. No, you know? no, why? my brain can't comprehend. <laughs> and, and I know I'm going to catch a lot of flack because I grew up in the church and, and I've got a lot of friends that are super way more in the church than I am today. I don't know how, I don't know how believing in something wild or crazy is any different than any religion. It's not like, I, I know that's going to sound like an insult to those who believe in religion, but I don't, don't, I don't, I don't mean I, this. I don't, that think, I don't think that's insulting at all. When I, um, when I think about and struggle with my beliefs in a higher being in God or Christ or whatever it is that I believe in, I battle with the concept. And there are many times where I come to the point where, you know what? I don't know but I feel more secure in believing yeah, than not believing. And so, and so I lean that way and that's, I think that's okay. I, maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I'm quite certain that <laughs> my church friends would not be happy with my commentary on that right now. I don't think it's that's, wrong at all. I, I don't think you got anything. My brain works though. Yeah. No, I mean, it makes sense. It makes absolute sense. Uh, yeah, it is. It is very interesting when, uh, when the Pentagon releases footage of UFOs, and it's not even a blip on the radar. That's when you know that everything has gone crazy. Uh, McKinnon jumped in. He said, "If I, or if we, eh, excuse me, if we're being honest, I'm a Sasquatch guy. Like, yeah, I think that's possible too. Uh, <laughs> and then Michael said, I'm right there with you guys to each his own. And who is anyone to judge? Yeah, you got that right. Like it, this stuff is. Until someone can prove to me it's not real, then I, I, you know, that's the, my, my only argument is, is there's no proof of the negative. Yeah. And it, we got you, more proof that it is real than not real yeah. because nobody can seem to explain these things. Just because we haven't seen it does not mean that it ain't out there. But so, we have seen these things that no one can explain. Yeah. The the biggest thing about these videos is that the the object, whatever it was, is moving so fast that it doesn't register as anything that they have ever seen before. Navy and there's no other country can't keep up. They can't like go trace it down. Yeah, they can't keep up with it. And and we've got you know of all the countries that are out there, we've got the fastest aircraft no, we got, carriers. Yeah, we we definitely have. Uh, yeah, the most most aviation wise. Hey Blake um, Blake D's jumped in. He said, "I've seen them." Uh, yeah, I I guarantee you, I know that I have seen stuff that I can't explain I don't know that what I've it was. Seen it. I, I'd I'd sure like to. I also have a belief in this. We assume that aliens, if and when they come around, that that they're here monitoring us and and they have like nefarious ideas. I, I don't I don't know that I believe that at all. I, because if if you took the best and brightest that our world has to offer, if those people were capable of finding other planets with life, they're not going to go there to destroy it. They're the most intelligent people we have on this earth. And, and they're not, they're there to observe. They're there to look at. And I don't really know how it's Joe Rogan talks about this all the time. He's an alien kind of nut. And he says, (laughs) how's it any different than like when we go into the Amazon to research, like, you know, uh, you know, different animals or whatever. and, And we learn of these new life forms and species of animals that have been around forever. We're not there to destroy them. We're there learning about them. And they're just a different level of evolution in, in this whole world. They, if they found us and we haven't been able to find them, we assume that they're more advanced than we are. Yeah. Uh, agreed. And, we, uh, we would assume that now yeah, it may not be necessarily that. true, but uh, Blake, he said, uh, can't explain it, but it ain't a plane helicopter or a drone. Michael with an interesting topic here. If the government is showing this top secret stuff, what the hell are they trying to distract us from? Oh well, that's a whole another conversation. I, yeah, <laughs> true, true, very true. I'm no. always, but I'm the anti-government guy though. So, 
that's, I don't trust anybody. At, well, at you and I, I think that's that's partly how we became friends. So <laughs> we cannot trust people together. It works out beautifully. Doctors who are, I I do think that it is in their best interest to take care of me, and I question everything they do. Well, I, I think that's typically a smart thing. Well, with as many things I as just you have think seen, everybody is out for themselves and. Yeah. Can you fix me? No, but you can come see me once a month for the rest of your life. Oh, great. Mm, you have a mortgage? You go on vacation a lot? Yeah, that's why I'm coming to see you every month. <laughs> let's uh, let, let's go ahead and move on here. MLB is playing. 